Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Habla Inglés con Adán or Talk English with Adam, where you get to listen to an English teacher, a native speaker, and also a companion, perhaps even friend. You can practice English, listen to it, or use it as an interactive tool. Today, we are going to look at another letter, the letter F. F, F. Okay, so for the letter F, I have some images of the French flag. French, French, or the flag of France. We have lots of other words that start with F. For, fought, frank, festive, fun, forest, f, 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 f. So the F sound. Okay. F, 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 f. Frank, uh, foreign, foreign, f. Some of you who know that word that you shouldn't, maybe from other learners, or you've picked up that bad word, might have that connection, the f, 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 frog, frog. So many, many words starting with F and just pronounce the letter and the sound. Okay, look for new words and then say them. For example, forgot, forget, f forget. What did you forget? Maybe you forgot to set an alarm. Una alarma. Olvidaste. Forgot. F forgot. Okay? I want to talk a bit about French because it's a language that I supposedly should have learned well as a Canadian student. But what happened, I didn't. I didn't learn it or the information didn't stick. What's the reason for that? Well, let me turn you around. Okay. Turn you around like this. Okay. You can see the English flag. And a big reason for why I did not learn French well is because English has more of an influence in Canada than the French language. Okay, so French was taught in schools, but only the basic amount or the basic level. And it was not so meaningful. With English learning, it is very meaningful and significant for students. They can use English when they travel anywhere in the world because it is the global language. They can use English to get a job, work. They can use English for learning. Most of academia, most of the universities, their material or the research is in English. And there are so many more reasons. If you want to look at it from a historical perspective, history, the empire that won out in the end, the empire that became the best, and not just because of the UK, because of the British Empire, it also has to do with the United States and the different events that took place. The different world wars and the conflicts, political forces. Okay, so as a learner, French wasn't as meaningful. And it should have been because in Canada, where I grew up in Canada, if you are bilingual, 
or if you know French, <laughs> French, okay, we have the French from France, and we also have the French from Quebec, which is the image on the right, okay, the Quebec French. And if you know French, you have a better chance at a government job. Now, there are, of course, benefits and cons, pros and cons, benefits, disadvantages with a job, with a government job, but a big benefit is tenure. Tenure. What is tenure? Is the feature where you can't get fired. You have the job and you're going to keep it until you retire. So they'll pay you a hundred thousand and it'll stay connected with inflation. You won't make a ton more because it's, it's a government job and it's regulated, but you have your job and it's difficult to lose it. If you're bilingual, you're knowledgeable, you're skilled, getting a job with the government is the zenith or the top of stability. It's about as stable as you can get. So if you don't want any stress or if you want to reduce the stress with regards to careers and looking for work, then you should go get a government job with the Canadian government. And for you language learners and those who are thinking about Canada, don't just learn English, try to learn French as well. Then you have an advantage over unilingual or speakers with one language. Okay, for me, I have English and Spanish, Inglés y Español, y me ayuda bastante en mi día a día, in my day to day. Same thing here. If you have French, it will help you communicate and live in other places where there are large French populations. <laughs> French. Okay. So I hope this has helped you either with words starting with F or has been interesting. Some information about French. Canada, the French speaking parts, and how you can use this other language to your benefit. Okay, keep practicing. Write your questions in the comments. Maybe you have questions about, about me. How much of an influence does French have in different areas of Canada? Okay, I look forward to reading them and interacting with you online. Have a great day and enjoy it. Bye for now. Adios.